There has been a lot of drama going on in the rap world in the last several months, and one of the big things was the alleged fight between Megan Thee Stallion and Tory Lanez. It apparently got physical, very violent, and the lack of news coverage has one of them very mad in regards to what's going on and what's not going on. But that begs the question, what is going on? Allow us to break it down for you. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Number 5. What started it all? So let's get this started with where it all started. Specifically, this all happened with an altercation that broke out on July 11th between the two. Specifically, an argument between the two led to the police being called, though it didn't start out quite like you would expect. Megan documented hanging poolside with Lanes and Kylie Jenner on her Instagram Live. Things eventually broke down. Police later arrested Lanes for a felony count of carrying a concealed weapon in a vehicle, a weapon that reports say he used to honestly try to shoot Megan. Thus, he got put in jail. TMZ reported Megan had a cut on her foot from the broken glass of the car, but she set the record straight when she detailed suffering multiple gunshot wounds as a result of a crime that was committed against me and done with the intention of physically harming me. End of story? Not so much. Number 4. Muddled Waters In cases like this, all sorts of crazy things can happen, including people getting blamed for things that they didn't do. As word began to spread about what happened between Megan and Tori, a lot of rumors and speculation started to emerge, including one where it was Megan who got arrested and put in jail, and one that it was her friend Nicole, who was with her during the incident with Tori, who had shot at her. Obviously, that was very different from the events that actually happened, and thus, they made statements on the reality of the situation. I was never arrested. This whole experience was an eye-opener and a blessing in disguise. I hate that it took this experience for me to learn how to protect my energy. I want to clear up the rumors that I shot Megan. I wasn't the one with the gun and would never do something like that. However, I was present. Her friend Nicole wrote in a since-deleted Instagram post. As if all of this wasn't bad enough, some rumors even stated that Tori was actually defending Megan and Nicole instead of, you know, trying to hurt them very badly. Though others rose up to shoot down those rumors, pun intended, and set the record straight. As more rumors spread, Megan had to make another statement on the matter. Black women are so unprotected and we hold so many things in to protect the feelings of others without considering our own," she tweeted. It might be funny to y'all on the internet and just another messy topic for you to talk about, but this is my real life and I'm real life hurt and traumatized. Which is a very fair thing to say, no one should have to deal with this in any situation, let alone have the situation twisted around on them to make it seem like they're the bad guy instead of the victim. Sadly for Megan and her friend Nicole, not everything is turning out the way they would expect in a situation like this. For example, number 3. Tory Lane's Current Status Obviously in a case like this, you can't help but wonder what happened to Lane's after he was arrested and put in jail. Well, he was released after he was able to put up a $35,000 bond. His court date is currently scheduled for October 13th. As more investigations occurred, more details came about that clearly painted Lanes as the villain, such as how Lanes allegedly shot her from inside the SUV while Megan was outside trying to leave. A person close to the police said they were also investigating video evidence provided. This is a case of a man physically harming and abusing a woman, read the report they made. Now it's bad enough he's already out of jail for a crime that almost seriously injured Megan. But apparently his defense is going to be that it was an accidental shooting, which is terrible in all the ways that matter. Not the least of which was that an accidental shooting usually doesn't apply to a gun being pointed at someone and fired multiple times. One shot? Yeah, you can make that defense. But all reports say it was multiple. Plus, if it was accidental, why did he flee the scene? And others report that it was very much intentional. <laughs> exactly. Number two. The lack of coverage. There are many elements to this story involving Tory Lanez and Megan Thee Stallion, but one of the more curious elements is that at first, there really wasn't a lot of coverage about the event despite it being caught on Instagram Live and being a violent crime and all that. Yet media outlets either wouldn't touch it or refused to touch it for one reason or another, which obviously didn't make Megan very happy. 
In fact, she went and did a live stream blasting those who denounced the event and even blamed her for various aspects of it. It's not funny. It's nothing to joke about, she said during the stream. It was nothing for y'all to start going and making up fake stories about. I didn't put my hands on nobody. I didn't deserve to get shot. I didn't do S. Arguably, what's worse of all, though, was that various celebrities, including high-profile stars like Chrissy Teigen, 50 Cent, and more decided to make fun of the situation on social media because they thought it was fake. Think about that for a minute. They thought the situation was so fake, they made fun of it on social media. They had to recover quickly when they learned it was very much real. That must have been incredibly humiliating to Megan and Nicole, who lived arguably the worst night of their lives, and they're being made the butt of jokes. Number one, so what now? That is the question, isn't it? What does Megan the Stallion do now? The honest answer is to heal and then get right back at it. Eventually, she'll have to go and testify against Tory Lanez, which will be hard, but she needs to do it in order to get justice for herself and her friend. And as for the media, things are finally getting picked up and more reporting will no doubt be done as things continue. But for now, just wish Megan the best and hope she gets through this mentally and physically intact. There you go, everyone. A look at the situation between Megan the Stallion and Tory Lanez. Can you believe the twists and turns that this story has taken since its events occurred? Can you believe what Megan has had to go through? How do you hope everything resolves itself? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and we'll see you next time on the channel.